guys. Good morning. Uh, today, uh, we're going to discuss the uh, financial analysis. I'm just hoping that you already know the outlay rule. So, based on the given problem, uh, we're going to present an income statement and balance sheet based on this given amount. So, the given here is a total expenses worth 300000 a total liabilities worth 600000 current asset worth 380000 beginning capital worth 480000 and net income is 80% of current asset. Because um, in the problem, it is not given if it is a corporation, a sole proprietorship, or partnership. Uh, we're supposed that um, uh, this is a sole proprietorship, so we did not to deduct any taxes yet for the statement. Okay? So, let's start with the income statement. So, how we will compute this one? Okay. So, the given only is the net income, which is 80% of current asset, and a total expense of 300000 So, let's start. Okay, because uh, we need to prepare an income statement. So, we have the income statement. So, we'll start with sales. So, we leave it blank first. And then, we have less expenses. So, we have total expense of 300,000. So, we put it here, 300,000. So, sales minus expenses is equals to net income. Okay, so we already have the net income which is 80% of current asset. So, we multiply 380,000 multiplied by 80%. So, how much? Okay, let's try to compute. So, 380,000 times 80% is equal to 304,000. So, this one is 304,000. So we add we added this one to get the amount of sales. So 304 plus 300,000 is equals to 604,000. Okay, what about the um, the amount of the balance sheet? So how we will prepare this one? So we know that asset is equals to liabilities plus capital. So we put it this way. Uh, we need to balance the amount of the asset against the liabilities and capital. So, let's start. So, the given under asset is only the current asset. So, we put it here. So, current asset is equals to 380,000. Okay? And then, there's no non-current asset yet. So, we leave it blank. Okay, so this one is part of asset. And then we have the total liabilities worth 600,000. So we put here total liabilities. So we have 600,000. So because we already have the total liabilities, what we need to compute is the amount of the capital. Okay? So, there's a beginning capital of 480000 And then, there's the amount of net income, which is 304000 We already know that uh, when we produce a capital, the amount of capital on the balance sheet, we need first to add the net income against the beginning capital in order to get the amount of the ending capital. Okay? So, we need to add this to 480,000 plus 304,000. So, that's the amount of the ending capital. So, this one is the capital on the balance sheet or capital N. So, we have 480 plus 304. So, we have 784,000. So, this one is 784,000. So, we already have the amount of total capital against the amount of um, 
and total liabilities against the amount of asset. So, we need to add 600,000 total liabilities plus the ending capital of six, uh, 784,000. So, we have 1,384,000. 1,384,000. So, the amount of non-current asset is missing. So, because we already know that asset is equal to liabilities plus capital, so we put this amount here. So, it will balance. So, the amount should be balanced. 1,384 minus 380 so, minus 380,000. So, we have 1 million 4,000. So, that's it. I just hope that uh, given financial analysis number one will be uh, more easier for you. Thank you.